Welcome. Today we're going to talk about a new system we're putting in place and it is all about putting and tagging our music with the correct codes for our reporting for SoundExchange. SoundExchange wants what's called ISRC codes. To do this, uh, most of you are somewhat familiar. If not, you need to get more familiar with Music Brains. Music Brains is a music database that will help you tag your music with all the correct information and sometimes it will show ISRC codes and sometimes it will not. For our purposes of this video, we're going to take one that I know does not have an ISRC code attached. We're going to drag it into Music Brains. And as you can see, this album is already included in Music Brains database. Very good. So let's go down. We're going to select the track and we will be able to see all the information that is already tagged on this particular track. You have artist, album, track number, the date, and of course there's the record label. Now, you know, we, we're trying to keep away from having to hand record record label, and the way we can do this is to add an ISRC code. To do that, we're going to go and Google Sound Exchange. We're going to go to their home page, and across the top menu, you will see a section all the way to the right called ISRC Search. So go ahead and click on that, and that'll bring up a separate website uh, within the Sound Exchange. Um, family and what you're going to do there's a place for artist name track title release name so forth and so on so we're going to type in the name of our artist which is James McMurtry if I can get this right here and um, there we go now oh, it'll even help you if it that's a good sign it tells you that it's in there so go over and put the track title in, and we are going to do Level Land. So go ahead and scroll down on your windows so you can see exactly the spelling that you need to do this right. And the nice thing is you don't have to put all of the information when you come over to the release name or the album name. You can just start with, uh, you know, live in August and then do a search. And voila, there it is. So as you can see, there's all this information. There's artist, track title, uh, the year, duration, uh, the record labels. Um, as you can see, there's also the ISRC code in there, which I'll talk to you about in just a second. But look, we've got Compadre Records down here. We're going to do a double check on this. Go back to our Music Brains ID information, and we can now find the correct ISRC code by aligning that with the correct release label. So we're going to copy and paste that. That's Command C if you're on a Mac, Control C if you're on a Windows. Then we're going to right click in the tag information. We're going to type in ISRC, then we're going to say add a value, and then paste it. And that's Command V in a Mac and Control V on a Windows. And now we'll scroll down and look, there it is. ISRC, it added that tag, and it's uh, in the new value section. We want it to stay in the uh, original value section. What we do is right click and say save, and there it is. ISRC is now tagged on that track. Let's try a different track, one of a little bit more common um, song, a more popular song maybe. We'll just grab some and throw them in here and see what happens. Carolina on our mind, James Taylor. That's a pretty popular track, right? And we've got the album information, the artist, and the date. And come down, we can also see the record label. Well, let's go back to our Sound Exchange ISRC search site. We'll type in James Taylor. And Carolina on my mind. I failed typing, so that's why I'm so slow. And then, of course, uh, this is the greatest hits, as you can see. And we'll do a search, see what happens. So, 
Let's go ahead and pull this window back up so we can see all of the... Yeah, there's a lot of tracks. And a track like Caroline on my mind, it's been on a lot of different album releases. Uh, there's Greatest Hits, um, Japanese Vinyl, all of this good stuff. And uh, what you want to do is you want to just cross-reference back to Music Brains that you're getting the right ISRC code. And you can do that by checking date. And you can also check uh, the record label, if you will. And just go back up and assume you're making the right choice for the album name. Then go back to your search. And uh, you can kind of do a little reference there. Now, we don't have an exact date match here, but that's not uncommon. But um, w we also know it's Warner Brothers. And as we look across the ISRC codes for this song, though, you know, w we can see that uh, it's pretty much the same no matter who it's released by. So we're, we're in good shape because the, the ISRC code assigns to the song itself. So let's go back over, right click into the tag information, say add new tag, then type in ISRC, then click add value and command V and paste that in or control V and paste that in. And now let's search for it, make sure it came in, and there it is. Sure enough, it's in our new values section. So what we want to do is go back up to our track to get it into our original values, right click and hit save. And there it is. And now it is tagged right along with it. Now you don't have to do this with every single track because Music Brains, if, it, if that information is there, as you can see with this Janis Joplin song, ISRC code is already there, so you don't need to worry about putting it in. You just have to search the tracks that you have already and make sure it's there. And if it's not, use the Sound Exchange library to put it in.